In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to correct a video filmed using a wide angle or fisheye lens. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Go into the movie clip editor. This can be done by just coming to the left bottom left of the screen, left click on 3D view and then left click movie clip editor. Now left click on open and navigate to the folder that you've stored the clip in. Left click on it and then left click open clip. If your views come up a bit too big then I'll tell you all this you know by rolling your middle mouse that you can zoom in and out. Okay. Now one problem you may have is you get lag. And the further you go into the clip the more lag you get. Um, I'll show you how to overcome this in a minute but one of the things you need to do before you change anything is match the timeline up to the video clip. So if you look for the box that says footage information left click on this you should be able to see um, frames. I mean right now I'm on frame 193 but the whole video is 394 long so I've only got 250 frames here so the last one says 394 yours will be different but down here where it says N250 I'm gonna just left click and put in 394 and hit return so that means we'll be playing right to the end you can also change it up here where it says end frame okay the other thing you must make sure you do is match the frame rates up. At present it's saying 24 frames here. I know this one's 25 frames per second so I'm going to just change this. Okay. If you want to see the complete timeline just roll your middle mouse in there and you can also by holding your middle mouse button down move it about as well. Okay. So you, you get this problem with lag and uh, Although you won't be able to use the proxy clips to do this distortion, it helps find the sort of position you want to use. So I'm just going to create a proxy clip a minute now. Just click on this little arrow next to the proxy clip, left click in the box, I'm going to leave mine at 25% and then I'm going to just left click build proxy time code. And so that's finished down here. Left click on the box that says no proxy full render then left click on the size that you've uh, created a proxy as this is a small video it won't affect anything but it makes uh, going through your video clip a lot easier now you should find that you got a much more smoother sort of scan through so set up your video to get a rough idea of the distortion you want to correct so I'm going to go here as you can see this is sort of curved and the ends are curved as well so that's fine now you won't be able to correct the proxy um, all this will do is help you sort of find the position you want to adjust it in so as soon as you decided where you want to uh, defish your video um, you will have to basically left click on the proxy size box again and then left click no proxy full render okay if you look for the little box that says lens left click on the arrow and then left click render undistorted this is in the display box Now you've already opened up the lens box. You can put a grid in as well to help by left clicking in the box next to the grid. This helps. I don't bother with it. So, uh, but we'll leave it on for now. So K1, you've got K1, K2, K3, and really 
I've struggled to work out what they all do. Um, so really, all you need to do really is in K1, just hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse until you get a sort of this is where the grid doesn't really help that much in my opinion but it, you'll see in fact I'm going to take get rid of this grid you can see by moving K1 we can undistort the curvature of these chairs now K2 can if you drag it backwards and forwards also help to improve the edges coming down the vertical edges K3 goodness knows what that does and I'm not going to bother uh, even mucking around with it it uh, seems to do possibly curve out the very tops alright we'll go with that I, I normally only use K1 but it gives you an idea effectively you just play around with K1, K2, K3 so you get a view that you're reasonably happy with OK once you've done that the easiest thing to do is just drag this up and then to the very bottom on the timeline button left click and then sorry do it again left click and then left click node editor look for the box to the right of the orange disk this is your compositing node left click on this and left click in the box it says use nodes right click on the render layers box just press X to get rid of it come down to the add button left click on this and in the next to input left click on movie clip drag this into view now if you look left click on the little sort of film strip to the left of open your video should be showing and just left click on this come back down to add again left click and you're looking next to distort for movie distortion left click on this and all you need to do now you point over the yellow image um, dot hold down your left mouse button plug that into there also again on the movie strip bit next to open left click and then left click your movie and again drag image into image so you've gone from image to image to image on these onto the compositor and that's all you need to do I know some people like to use backdrops and that I don't see the point because you can see what's going on up here um, if you've never rendered a video I've assumed you probably have I'm just going to tweak this up to 100% here I'll give this a title um, I don't know I'm just going to call it DF1 going to accept this here change from PNG FFmpeg you should have this installed if you want to do video editing encode presets H264 go for high quality because I've lost some of the clip already because it will clip the edges off a bit and audio codex none mp3 and all I need to do now is left click animation and this should just flick through frame at a time and undistort your video hopefully okay well that's finished uh, rendering as you can see this um, line of these chairs 
is quite um, straight now. It wasn't a very good clip. It's sort of uh, it's quite shaky actually. And the only other thing is just with this node here, just make sure it says undistorted. There is distort and undistorted in there. It should come up undistorted when you load it in, but just make sure it says undistorted. And that's all there is to it, really. I wouldn't bother playing this video. I know it works. I've done it enough times. So um, hopefully that's helped somebody. If you're struggling with anything, um, I've got a few um, look, using the um, codexes and that. There's a video on that and also some basic, um, basic video editing um, tutorials in my playlists. Um, that's all there is to it, really. Pretty easy. Thank you for watching. Cheers.